and welcome back with Red Plus. We're doing Alan Wake's American Nightmare. We just started the observatory level. We've seen the opening cinematic in the previous episode. Go ahead and pop over there for him if you want to check it out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell to see more when we come out. And we got that shit out of the way. Let's get back into the fucking game. Oh, that was cringy. <clears throat> cringy as fuck. But, who would I hear? Talk box. Open the observatory gate. Okay. Boom. Win. Oh, there's a camera there. Still on. Fire truck. Radio. Welcome back, listeners. As you know, I'm Eddie Rodman, and I'm still talking Rodman. to the gods of Asgard, who are doing their big comeback tour. How's that been going for you? Odin? Splendid! I'm having the time of my life! You know, I didn't realize how much I'd miss that. And what about you, Thor? Ah, it's okay, you know. Well, this must bring back a lot of memories. Oh, They're so yeah. sweet. They're just a couple of sweet old men. Back on stage. If it wasn't for my knee, <laughs> I'd feel like a young man again. <laughs> well, speaking of that, I hate to keep harping on this age thing, but I gotta tell you, I've heard your new songs, guys, and you sound really good. Thank you. And, uh, this may be a touchy subject, but to be blunt, you really don't sound, uh, well, old. I mean, no, I mean, the difference between your, your speaking voice and your singing voice, it's pretty striking. What the hell are you talking about? You saying it's not us singing on that record? What? What's he talking about? No, 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 I'm not saying that, guys, but I, I can't help noticing the difference. Son, you're on thin ice. You calling me a liar? Oh, hey, let me just step in here for a moment, boys. Yeah, Eddie, they do sound different, but believe me, we're not talking Millie Vanilli here. These guys are the real deal. Why don't you come to the <laughs> Millie Vanilli? That's a, that's a joke for you older game kids game. out there. Oh, things get real. Really? Believe me, they play like they're possessed. It's almost like magic. Look, you see my boys play, you see the old gods for real. These guys project a lot of power. They're not lightweights, you know what I'm saying? All right, Barry, I'll, I'll see if I can make it. Now, let's take another quick break here, and after that, we'll play the new Old Gods of Asgard single. Don't you go away. Oh, I love all the little radio broadcasts and whatnot. Ooh, some rifle ammo. Nope, I'm going to keep my Ooh, flare gun ammo. I haven't got a flare gun yet. Oh, the light goes out bunch of dicks ooh we got some darkness darkness ooh, we got a page as a storyteller my first real love was crime and it was in that genre that I finished my first novel, starring the perpetually miserable Alex Casey, whose entire life was a wound that never healed. The books sold as fast as they hit the shelves. I wrote five more Alex Casey books, and they all were bestsellers. I became rich. I became famous. Success brought pressure, and I didn't handle it very well. No, he kind of had a nervous breakdown. Let's get the fuck on. Let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, should I go that way? Or. Hey, that's in the box in there. Hey, a Baba Ganoush is a, a box. There we go. All right, we got some tanks here, some some, some silos. No, oh, uh, those are tanks. No, oh, one way in and out. That's kind of like what your mom tried to tried to tell me. Woo! What, what does this van say? Stanley. I don't think Stanley has anything to do with any of this. Stanley was just a bystander. Poor, poor Stanley. See, it looks like there'd be stuff out on this cliff. But there's not. I wonder if I can see the hotel and stuff from here. 
new. Still think I'm going the wrong way. Nope, guess not. We got Austin Holsons. Come on, come on. Sluts? Woo! Ooh, we got shiny up here. Shh, 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 shh. Shiny. Flashbang, cool. Here we go. Fighting the Taken. I've carried a flashlight and a gun for so long that I feel naked without either. It's all too often that I need them. The darkness protects the Taken. Shadows crawl over their forms like living things, protecting them from harm. Blows that would injure or kill a human outright mean nothing to them as long as the darkness persists. But light makes them vulnerable. Light burns the shadows away. The darkness that drives them is still in them, but now they're vulnerable. Flashlight and gun. Sometimes it feels they're all I have left. Feels like this is something we could have got near the beginning. Like that's, that, that seemed more like a phone call, you know? Right, we're, gonna, we're gonna mosey up along. Ooh, there's stuff out here. Out in y'all. Propane tanks. A whole little. I could have just come along here. That pisses me right off. God, he gets so tuckered out so quick. We're gonna go up yonder. All the way up this here hill. You stuff in that truck? Nah. Wait. Yeah. I don't have the revolver anymore. Oh yeah, oh, I just got full ammo. That's cool, I'm okay with that. Seems over here is where I need to go. Flare. Carbine rifle ammo. Cool, cool. Seems like this place is smaller than the diner area but it is actually just like just about the same size oh that's a light I was like ooh shiny got out y'all out over y'all flashbangs flares cool cool no pages though. That's fucking gay. Ooh, can I? Oh, I totally seen me. You get stuck up there, Alan. Come on, man. Yeah. Nope. Fuck you. Hmm. Guess there ain't nothing back here anymore. All right, let's head. We're gonna head back down the other side because. For some reason, the place goes in a circle. It's just essentially padding, but can't be too mad. Ooh. Page. Oh man. It's good. We'll listen to the page first. The genesis of Mr. Scratch. I've seen the enemy, and it's me. I faced dark horrors before, things that live in the unimaginable pressures of the world beyond our own. Sometimes they masquerade as humans. That's what ultimately lurks inside Mr. Scratch. He's every mean-spirited tabloid story about me. 
an evil caricature, a creature formed in that vague territory of misconceptions, half-truths, and the dark imagination of people who heard a story about me. An urban legend made flesh, a serial killer, my dark half, brought to life by the power of Cauldron Lake. Fucking A. Back up, bros. Gotta get back the fuck up. Oh, no. No. Ooh. Ooh. You dead? You dead now? Does honor matter at this point? We got y'all. 15 manuscript pages. That's pretty upsetting. We're gonna keep going back down the road. There's those tanks. Looks like we made a full roundabout here. I say, I say, I say. Looks like we can't go down none of that. All right, let's go up and just continue. We found like three of them surrounding the outside road of the observatory. Going up these stairs here. Ooh, what was that noise? Did you guys hear that? Oh. No, there's never just one. Oh, I guess there's just one. Ooh. Page. 13. We might get that hunting rifle. The pressure of success got to me. My wife Alice was the sole thing in my life that I God, Alice is fucking hot Suddenly too. Suddenly it wasn't enough. I couldn't write anymore. I distracted myself with wild parties and whatever trouble I could scare up. I wallowed in the drama of my life, sure that Alice would stick with me even though she didn't sign up to be the lifeline of a tortured artist. It was my dumb luck she's not the type to give up. Alice is so sweet. She really is a sweetheart too. Like, genuinely, genuinely a good wife, you know? Oh, we got a road that goes down that way. Little path. Oh, I know which way that goes. Alright, I know where I'm going now. Jump. 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 I'm Spartacus. Okay. So we found four pages on the outlying sections. Which one here? 40 manuscript pages? Are there even 40 in the game? What? Maybe they add from like your Alan Wake playthrough. Okay, I suppose let's go this way. Hello? I'm Dr. Rachel Meadows and... Wait a moment, it's you! I can't believe you dare show your face around here again. Oh shit. I'm about to show her what for though. Reloading. Any more? There's one. Go away. It wasn't me. I just look like him. Are you serious? That's what you're going with? Please. I'm trying to stop him. You saw those shadow things trying to kill me, right? I bet he got along with them just fine. 
Yes. Yes, he did. All right. Come on in. Thank you. This bitch is way too trusting. I wouldn't open that door for shit. For nothing. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you could not get me to open that door. Ooh, television. Oh, Mr. Scratch. There's a party next door. I'm feeling pretty good right now. A little beer. A little fun, you know? It's nice. What's up, Alan? He just looks back at me like, what are you doing, dude? Listen. This whole thing between us. It's a little weird for me, too, you know? I mean, we don't just look the same. There's a lot we share. I mean, up here. I know you, right? So I was thinking maybe we could... Is this after that dude's already dead? These guys are getting out of control. Look, I feel like we're both victims of circumstance here. And maybe we could make some kind of effort to... He's getting annoyed. He's probably gonna like just kill them all. He's doing with the phone line. Oh, he's gonna go fuck somebody up. He's gonna walk up in there and start beating the shit out of people. Never mind. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's... That's fucked up. Alright. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Flares and flashbangs. Just a moment. I'll send the lift down. The lift. I didn't expect to see anyone here tonight, but I'm relieved to see an actual person. That's assuming this isn't some kind of traditional part, of course. A oh, flare gun? I want more pages. I want pages! What's up, Nya? Is this a telescope? Oh, the lift. Sit down the lift for you. Talk to Dr. Meadows. A female doctor. What a day and age this is. Doctor, the man who looked like me. What did he want here? There's a strange astronomical event happening right now. Something I can't begin to classify. But I think it's disabled our satellite. There's a very peculiar signal that we're receiving. A signal? That's what I'm here for. Well, so was he. But he didn't seem to understand it at all. He got very angry, sabotaged our imaging array, and now we're blind. I believe the event is still going on, but we can't pick it up. Is there something we can do? What he broke is essentially just a special camera, but we can't use the telescope without it. There's a replacement in my car. If you can get that to me, we're back in business. Consider oh, it done. A. Tell me more about the signal. Oh, so it's going to take forever. Being transmitted to Night Springs. It's the strangest thing. It's quite elusive, almost as if it wasn't properly there. I don't know how to describe it. Night Springs. So, what was the signal like? I wish I knew. He appeared before I had a good fix on it. He was very pleasant when I was working. But when I isolated the signal, he suddenly forced me out of the control booth. He said it was none of my business. He seemed to... to change. Somehow, he... He was very smooth and charming before that, but suddenly he became 
I'm sorry. I'm not sure I want to talk about it. Oh, did, did he fucking assault this lady? Oh, shit. I have to ask, do you always wear that to work? It's pretty fucking hot. I was at a party for a local art exhibition. Fascinating works. When I was called away by my assistant, Michael was the first to spot this event. I don't know where he is now, actually. He was supposed to bring us some food, but he never showed up. Tell me about the event. Oh, that fat oh, fuck. That poor guy. It looks as if got stars were changing. His neck broke. Somehow. Or shifting positions. Wait, so your it boy has been happened, gone for over a day? Most likely and you just like, some kind you're of like, oh, I think you went and tried to get his food. A day ago. I've never seen anything like it. Did he hurt you? No. He didn't quite threaten me exactly. But those shadowy things started to crawl into view. And whatever the signal was, he seemed to be extremely frustrated by it. He just started breaking things and left. I thought it best not to interfere. You were lucky. He's done much worse. Yes. He showed me a knife, and he kept talking. He enjoyed the sound of his own voice. A proper maniac. You really aren't anything like him, are you? Believe me. I'm a good I listener. Alright, let's go fuck shit up. Oh, I'll have to take this lift every time. Taking the lift down to the stairs. Down to the ground floor. Off of the first floor up there. That's not the second floor. That's the first floor. And this is the ground floor. And we're gonna run out to her car park. To pick her thing out of her tiny trolley. Try to be careful. It's a very expensive part and we don't have a replacement. Oh dear, that sounded more callous than I intended. Uh, Ooh, I see a little, I see a page on the map here. There it is, page, 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 Thank you. 14. The spiders aren't really the work of the enemy. Called it, They're spiders. A, effect, a part of the dark place's less significant fauna that has managed to slip through the opening I made when I arrived. Less an animal than an idea that has assumed the form of an animal. Makes them no less dangerous. But at least they're a little easier to deal with. The darkness doesn't protect them like the Taken. And thus they can be destroyed by either light or bullets right away. Okay, that's cool at least. Fuggin' spiders. Making our way downtown. Kicking ass. Being scared of the dark now. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh man, I thought that's the way I was supposed to I'm supposed to get in there, man. What the fuck? Why would this bitch park all the way out this here? This must be your car. Oh, fucking spider webs, man. Special camera. Spiders, man. I don't like spiders. Spiders suck. Back up, slut. Well, oh, was that all of them? We were getting like foreshadowing to them I was gonna say since this is since the last chapter oh we're going look at that light it really does look like sanctuary compared to like the rest of the world it's pretty darn good Make my way downtown with your bitch. She's gonna make me a sandwich. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, I gotta, go, I gotta go all the way up. I'm gonna be pissed. I gotta go all the way up. Boom, do, do. I found it. Excellent. I'll operate the platform directly below the telescope so you can install the array. Don't worry, it's very easy. Ho! 
hop on, hop on the trolley, dears. So fun. I just love tea so much. Love tea. Hmm. Huh. Brilliant, you've got it. It's in perfect order. All right, we're good to go. Let's take a look at the skies. Oh, dang. That's cool. What's going on, y'all? Of course, there's a problem. I have to shut this down. There's a problem with the automated coolant system. Somebody just interrupted the flow. So now what? Well, you could go and open the secondary coolant flow valves manually. I know it's dangerous there, but, well... I got it! Please come talk to me if you have questions. Sloot. I real I know I'm gonna regret this. Yup. Instantly regret it. Oh, I do gotta Is talk. Is there to something her. I should know about this coolant thing? Oh no, it's quite straightforward. The telescope is very heavy, and moving it generates a lot of heat. So do all of the electronics. Overheating could cause damage, so it shuts down automatically if the coolant fluid isn't flowing. And hot electronics generate instrument noise, which we want to eliminate as much as possible. What is this coolant anyway? Is it dangerous? We use liquid nitrogen. It's quite safe. If I can make it to the valves in one piece. Yes, there <coughs> oh, is man. that. Good luck. <coughs> Feeling like I've had the sick... <coughs> Just the sick last I'm assuming couple days. you didn't have this kind of trouble using the telescope earlier when my double was here. No, it went very smoothly until he turned into a nutter. This doppelganger of yours doesn't seem to want anyone else to look at this phenomenon. Honestly, it seems a little pointless to me. There are many eyes on the sky. I'm not sure what we're going to get once this thing is working again, but I have a hunch. I doubt it has anything to do with outer space or that anyone else can see it. I think it's a message for me. For you? That seems unlikely. unlikely. And even if it were a very Big old tea drinking tea. Surely it's visible to others in the area. Like soccer. Maybe. And the queen. But I wouldn't bet on it. There's a reason he came here, And a reason he doesn't want me looking at it. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. We're gonna go down. We're gonna release these coolants. Jump, Alan. God damn it. Fuck me. Jump. <coughs> Thank you. Is on the outside? It's gotta be. Okay, I, I, I don't... This way. Yeah, this way. Tap A repeatedly to open. Oh, I hate. Oh, oh. I'm not even gonna make the joke. I'm just gonna bitch about it from now on. Now, it, I'm. If you can see the rest of the Duke playthrough, yeah, I'm gonna make that joke plenty. But I'm so tired of it. Make me spin my L stick or something, or fucking just maybe alternate right and left triggers. I don't want to tap A repeatedly to open. <coughs> It's just lazy. Oh, of course, there's going to be dudes here.
splash bang. Bam. Ooh, slut. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Of course, I can't jump through there. You know, the core gameplay isn't great. We all know this. Everybody plays Alan Wake for the story, even though the core gameplay is kind of okay. I have fun with it. I really love it. It's, it's good. I'm okay with it. Like, I would rather play through Alan Wake, like, three more times than ever play through The Evil Within again. And you can take that as you will. Because at least this DLC isn't integral to the main story. Absolutely needed for the main story to make sense. That's what pissed me off about Evil Within. You give us ten dollars to finish the game. Fuck you. DLC is supposed to be an add-on, like oh, like like this, or the DLC for Bioshock Infinite, Clash in the Clouds. Yeah, the other two were story, um, and they weren't even necessary story. They were just tie togethers. But the Clash in the Clouds DLC is how you do a DLC well, for like for core gameplay. What is this? Oh. Get flash bomb. Yeah. Kabam. You dead. Any more? Huh. I don't see any more. Ooh, pretty. God, where, where do they pull, pull all this coolant from if all the valves are in three different directions? Is there just like three main coolant lines they felt they should pull off separately? It's pretty fucking retarded. Yeah, I seen you. Don't act like I didn't. Listen, slut. There he is. There he is. Oh, I was I was wasting ammo trying to find his punk ass. Ugh. Okay, that should do it. Fucking Alan over here. Oh shit. That was scurry. See, they should have put like a page on top of that and make you walk all the way across it to get the page. I knew there was a fucking third one. What? See, man, I said that when I walked in, there was cameras. I knew there I'd be somebody here. But it's... I'm, I'm even happier it's some hot chick. This is like a scale model. Yeah. All the valves, Doctor. Is it working? Just bear with me a moment. Yes, I believe you've got it sorted. It's working again. Nicely done. 
That sounds like trouble. I don't think they're happy with our success. They're pretty fucking upset about it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh. Look out, they found a way in. You seem awfully calm about that, lady. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm really getting into this. I'm just like sitting here. Oh, it's it's pretty good. Back up, Holmes. Back the fuck up. Please and thank you. Oh, come on, get the full reload. Thank you. Back the fuck up. You think you quit? Oh, I'm out of fucking flashbangs. No! Got him. Oh no, she got him. Bitchin'. I'm sighted in now. I still have no idea what I'm looking at, but it's very strange. Very strange indeed. Oh, where are my manners? Please, come on up. I'm sorry, I was distracted. See, that lady's exactly where I'm at, because she I'm over here having fun. Give me that reload. That, 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 that quick reload. Kinda mad I used up all my, my, my grenades. To, 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 to date, Junior. Are we receiving the signal now? Well, she let oh, that yes. hair down and it's bust clear. that ass out. Clear. It's amazing. I'm not sure what it is yet let alone where it's coming from, but it's interacting with our system somehow, like it was intended for us. But I don't understand how that could be. Maybe that's just how the story goes. What? Never mind. Is there a way I can hear it, or however this is supposed to work? I think the signal is incomplete somehow, but you should be getting a print out of it now. Oh, it's gonna be a it's print a of a, it's gonna be a page. It's as if we're only getting a fragment of it. I need the whole thing. This is important. I'm sure it is, but this is all we're getting. Did the man who looks like me get the whole thing? He locked me out of the booth, so I have no way of knowing. But I can tell you that he didn't really seem to understand it. So, what's in the sky? It doesn't Everything. make any sense. The stars are just... they're wrong. I thought I'd be able to see something, but it's like I'm looking at a sky that's just... it's not the right sky. But that's impossible. I consider myself a rational man, Doctor. But this isn't a thing you can measure or explain. I I've seen impossible things that have taught me just to roll with some punches. It's either that or go insane. <laughs> or go insane. I find insane. it disturbing that you sound like you're speaking from ample experience. You should, uh, let me break that ass in with this ample experience. Woo. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Take me down! Oh no, I gotta pick up the thing. Of course I do. A printout of a signal. It too is a weapon created by the Champion of Light. In its words, Told you it's a fucking reality, page. But it is incomplete. And yet, it provides a roadmap for the man to follow. A course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. Yo, did we just beat the observatory? Did that lady live? Nobody hardly ever lives. The drive-in theater, Arizona. Dang. The drive-in. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here. Alright, folks, thank you for sticking around with Red Plus. Doing we're doing Alan Wake's American Nightmare Episode 2. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you if you watched this long on one of these videos. <sighs> 
Bless your heart. Thank you. And please come back around.